Hi guys, so I'm getting ready to go to an event at the Albany Barn today. Um, if you don't know about the Albany Barn in Albany, New York, then you should definitely check it out. It's a creative space, it's a living space, and it's just a way to encourage creatives in Albany, New York to create and um, it's a support system. So, this is the purpose for my video today. Um, I was watching the news. And for some reason on the news, they had a story about how for 2015, the new thing is going to be makeup that looks like you don't have on makeup, which I don't know if that's new. Um, that's always a thing. But the thing that struck me was this makeup artist and his name escapes me that they were interviewing. Oh, excuse my hair. I have to do my hair too, so maybe that'll be a video. I don't know. Anyway, um, the thing that struck me was this makeup artist was like, oh yeah, this look will take you about $200 to achieve. And I was like, $200 worth of makeup for me to look like I'm not wearing makeup? No. Is this Nivea? raspberry rose usually before i go ahead and get a makeup look started I just go ahead and moisturize my lips so that the whole time that i'm doing my face my lips are getting hydrated and moisturized and by the time i'm ready to put on lipstick if i'm going to put on lipstick i have a nice clean soft canvas to work from so the first part of this was for the foundation um they said they're moving over to BB creams, tinted moisturizers, and the like. I have a significant amount of scarring and things on my face. So, in order to pull off that beautiful skin look, I can't really do the tinted moisturizer thing. Because this just, it won't cover. So, I'm going to continue to use my MAC Studio Fix. That's in NW48. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Um, if you don't have scarring or your skin is more even toned than mine, then yes, go ahead, use a BB cream, use a tinted moisturizer, or put in the description about how much I paid for them so you can see how you don't have to spend $200 to get this look and you probably have everything you need to achieve a flawless, makeup-free, look in your kit already and everything I'm using by the way is from my makeup bag that I keep in my purse just because I'm a makeup artist and I do have a lot of different products and things at my disposal I don't want you guys to think like oh well of course she has that thing this is the thing that I have just on the fly and I can pull a face off and it's fine so anyway buff my foundation into the skin you'll notice that I'm doing like a circular motion and that's just to kind of minimize the look of any enlarged pores my the next step is that you still need to fill in your brows so the key to this is to use a pencil that is about a shade lighter than your natural hair color. There you go. That's that. You're not going to go underneath with any concealer or over, over top with any concealer or foundation. So there's that. The next part of this look is for eyeshadow. Um, there's probably not going to be eyeshadow. Uh, the makeup artist did mention you might want to put just a touch of your bronzer over your lid. Or, you know, just something very neutral and not... Oh, and I almost forgot this part. As per usual, I'm using my NYX Shadow Base. This is an uh, ESB03, which is like a flesh tone color. And the pencil that I used was an LA Colors pencil, so I mean. 
you don't have to spend a lot of money on pencils and you don't have to get these exact same products I just want to give everybody an idea that you don't need to spend you know $100 $200 $300 updating your makeup and your so the next step is a very simple wash of color um, I'm using this L'Oreal Paris high intensity pigments so I'm just going to take this lighter color not the dark one because this is not about you know a bunch of heavy eyeshadow and I'm just going to softly wash that right over my lid the next thing I'm going to do is uh, some blush have my MYX blush and CBO5 glow to give you an idea when I say I'm not going to use a whole lot I don't know if you can if the color reads on the brush but really not a lot just tap it and this is for both cheeks tap it and just blend it out last step is the eyelashes. I'm going to curl your lashes and put on some mascara. And I'm just using Maybelline Great Lash which I got on sale for like a dollar. Um, I put usually two to three coats on the top lashes and that's it so you have now a very simple face that you know to the untrained eye probably doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup um, or at least you're not wearing a whole cake face of makeup it's just a clean simple look for every day Well, for some people, for every day, I would like to do a little bit, something a little bit more fancy. But anyway, um, the most expensive product that I used for this look was my MAC foundation, which for all intents and purposes, isn't really that expensive. It was about $35 for that compact, and as of right now, I've had it for a year. So, you know, I don't know what that breaks down to, to a daily cost but it's not expensive at all but the idea that you would have to go out and spend two hundred dollars to achieve this which I haven't spent any additional monies I just used everything I already had in my kit um, in the products that I already own is just ridiculous and you know I don't know if there are people out there that are going for it but I'm just here to tell you ladies um, you know don't fall for the hype don't every season you gotta this and this and that because probably everything that you already own can get the job done and um, yeah that's all I really wanted to say um, it really struck me and I wanted to do a video on it so I hope you enjoy bye